Hey guys, welcome back from our extended break. Uh, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna run through really quick, hopefully, um, what you can expect in the coming weeks, what I'm gonna expect from you guys, and how we can work together to get through this interesting, challenging, unprecedented situation that we find ourselves in. Um, so, real quick, um, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to approach the class, which is to refocus on our learning goals. And hopefully, yes, this isn't the exact way that I intended to um, have this class communicated to you, but we can still focus on what were the main things I wanted you guys to get out of this class. And I think that we can still achieve those things, even if we're maybe using different methods than I originally intended. Uh, I'm going to go over the key kind of changes to the syllabus. Um, there's going to be a second video which will go over exactly what that means in terms of your grading, your assignments, and your assessment. Um, and one of the main things that I want to stress is that I want to give you guys some consistency but with flexibility. I understand that this is challenging for everybody, that there's disruptions in everyone's lives. Um, I want you to know what to expect from me when you can expect things from me, when I'm gonna expect things from you so that you can kind of hopefully plan your life in a way that feels like there's some normalcy, that there's some stuff that you know you can expect. Um, but I also am aware that you might be taking on different duties or your work schedule may have changed or suddenly you have work, you don't have work, um, everything's up in the air. And so please just get in touch with me and we can work together to get uh, us through this together. So, um, I will be understanding with you. Please be understanding with me. This is a learning curve for me too. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna get through it as a group together. We'll get ourselves through it. Um, so you just need to let me know what's going on and we can work through it together. Um, and so part of that too uh, is gonna be, you can give me some feedback as we go if there's stuff that I can do that is can support you better uh, or if there's ways that I can deliver things that make more sense to people. Um, so in order to refocus on our learning objectives, I'm just going to move me just for the moment. Um, a lot of these, as we go through them, are kind of based on how we approach problems. And so we're still going to approach problem solving the same way that we did before. We just might be using different methods, different means, uh, different technology. Uh, if you haven't filled out the survey that tells me kind of what you have access to, please do. Um, I I am kind of getting the sense that most people have access to a laptop and or smartphone, um, but I just want to make sure that I'm designing things in a way that is uh, going to be able to be done by everyone. If there's ever an assumption that you have access to a piece of technology or to something that you don't have access to, please just let me know. Please get in contact with me. Um, I have obviously my email, uh, Blackboard, and I've also provided on a following slide a phone number for Google uh, Voice that you can use to text me um, and we can figure stuff out together. Um, the main points, as you can see from the beginning here, understand and employ the creative process. Again, the creative process is a way of iterating your ideas so that you try something, you prepare, you try it, you see what works, but doesn't work. You think about it, you reflect, which as you see, seeing is another one of our uh, learning objectives. Um, and then you use what you did before in order to make your next version better, your next attempt better. And that's something that is transferable outside of design and creative practices into pretty much any field where you're going to do something once and you're going to learn from what you did the first time in order to make your second time better. I'm moving myself again, back up to cover the creative process. Um, it's been an iteration of me learning how to do this whole video thing. So I thank you for helping me with that. Um, Knowing, understanding, and utilizing technology. Some of that technology is going to change from what we had been using, um, but we're still going to work on translating our ideas into form. These might come in different manners than I originally intended, but we're still going to get there. Um, we're still going to design and create purposeful pieces of communication that employ design elements and principles. We're still going to think about how we're communicating and how we're visually communicating in order to make impactful pieces. Um, we're still going to analyze and evaluate things and media that other people have created in order to make our own media better. And we're regularly reflecting 
um, and critically examining pieces that are both from within our own understanding and outside of it in order to have our ideas grow. And we're going to create persuasive arguments telling us why we're doing what we're doing. In terms of consistency and flexibility, um, I want you to know what you can expect from me uh, going forward. So I'm going to chunk things like I'm doing right now where all videos are going to be in the 5 to 15 minute range and they're all going to cover one topic. The idea with this is then that way when you're looking for something or you need something later, you can go back and you're going to be able to know where to find it. Um, I'm also going to move to modules so that that way it's one idea is in one area and they kind of flow in order in terms of what hopefully is a way you can follow things. And if you know you follow them in that order, you should be successful. Um, so we meet on Mondays and Wednesdays, theoretically at 2.30. So I'm going to have the videos and PowerPoints up on Sundays and Tuesdays by 5 to give you almost a full day to have a chance to access it because then we will have our normal class time be a chance for you to ask me questions. I'm not going to lecture at you when our normal class time would normally be. Uh, I'll be on for at least 15 minutes on those two days. Obviously, we can see how that goes. But just as a time for you to come in, check in, ask questions. I can remind you of stuff that's due that week. Um, you can ask me questions on what I've posted or just generally on the work that you're doing. If you're working on a project uh, for either that week's assignment or the final, um, we I'll record it so that way we can share that. Um, so that that way, if you've got a question someone else has who maybe isn't available at the time, then that can be something that they can look at later on and say, oh, yep, yeah, I had that question and it got answered. I'll also be available via Zoom during my normal office hours. Currently, um, those are Mondays and Wednesdays from 11 to 2. But, you know, get in contact with me. If those times don't work for you, we can figure out a time that does work for you. Again, I'm going to be mostly housebound too. Um, and while I am going to be working on these videos and other stuff for you guys to work on, you know, we can figure out a time that works within reason. Um, also, please, you know, feel free to text me. I am a millennial. I don't really like phone calls, so please text. Uh, but I set up this Google Voice number, which is a Springfield number that you can feel free to text me on. I do have Do Not Disturb comes on for me every night at 9 p.m. until 8 a.m. the next morning. But uh, between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m., um, usually, you know, my phone might be in the next room, but I'll be able to get back to you within, you know, a few hours, hopefully. Um, again, email. Usually I try to get back to you within a couple hours, but always within one business day. Um, again, understand that right now I'll probably be getting a lot more communication than I normally would. And so it might take me a little bit longer. I will try to like triage again, um, you know, the most um, time sensitive stuff first. But uh, please have patience with me and I will have patience with you and we will get through this all. Um, in order to make things kind of the same week to week, everything's just going to be due every week on Friday at midnight. That way, um, you know when things are due. It's not due when class is. Just get it into me by Friday. Um, please, if that doesn't work for you, get in touch with me. If something goes wrong, uh, Blackboard doesn't work, um, the internet is being a pain, you don't have regular access to the internet, let me know. Um, I can extend that till Sunday at midnight. Um, if there's an extreme circumstance and it needs to be longer, again, get in touch with me and we'll figure it out. Um, with that, with this class, um, you'll notice I've posted a revised uh, assignment list and that's up. Um, so your actual assignments will be due on Friday at midnight, but you'll be commenting on other people's assignments as well and having us kind of, you know, still continue to try to critique and to think about our own work and each other's work. Those will be due every Wednesday at midnight. So that way you've got the same kind of schedule week to week. Uh, Friday work is due, then you've got from Friday to the following Wednesday to look at each other's work and to give each other some feedback. And then, you know, we repeat. Um, so have a look at that schedule. That'll be up uh, or that is up right now along with the revised syllabus. And the next video is going to go over specific ter uh, terms of deadlines and grades.